In this segment, we're going to talk about needles and accessories. Your machine comes with an assortment of presser feet and other essential accessories. You get an even feed walking foot, and that's used for sewing thicker layers like quilts or even napped fabrics like velvet and corduroy. This is a buttonhole foot for sewing buttonholes. This is the Sew Easy foot, and it has an adjustable guide here at the side so you can set it for the seam allowance width that you want for your project. It'll give you a nice edge to guide the edge of your fabric along as you sew your seams. This is the cording foot for attaching one, two, or three small yarns or cords. This is the blind hem foot for sewing blind hems. And this is the all-purpose foot, and that's on the machine when you take it out of the box. This is a zipper foot for sewing zippers. And this is the satin stitch foot, and that's for sewing denser stitches. It's got a groove on the underside, so when you sew thicker stitches, like satin stitches, they'll pass freely underneath. And this is an open toe foot, has a clear view in front of the needle, nice when you're sewing ribbons or trims. And this is the button sewing foot, and that's for attaching buttons by machine. This is your screwdriver, your seam ripper and lint brush. This is your auxiliary spool pin, and you would put that on the top of the machine if you want to sew with a thread in vertical position. And when you use the auxiliary spool pin, you'll also use the spool pin felt. This is the small spool cap, the large spool cap, and these are four Singer Class 15 transparent bobbins. One is already in the machine when you open the box. Let's take a closer look at your all-purpose foot. You may have noticed that there's this, what looks like a little black button at the side, and that's called your lock and place button. And that helps us when we want to do things like sew over thick seams. As you approach the thick part of your seam, put the needle down into the fabric, raise the presser foot lifter, and press the pin, the lock and place button, so that the foot is stable. Lower the presser foot lifter. Keep your finger on it momentarily as you sew over the thick seam, and then you can release it once you're across the seam. It's important to use the right needle for the fabric you're sewing. For example, here we have stretchy fabrics. This is a t-shirt fabric. This is a ribbing, a stretchy rib. This is a ponty knit, like a bottom weight knit. This is a trico. Here is a sweatshirt fleece and even neoprene. And for these types of stretchy fabrics, you want to use a ballpoint needle. You'll know that it's a ballpoint needle because it has this gold color at the top of the needle. The second color down below is an indicator of the size of needle. So in this multi-pack of ballpoint needles, I can see I have size 11, 14, and 16. The smaller number is the lighter weight needle, and you would use those for more like a trico. The 14 is a medium weight for like your t-shirt fabrics, and the 16 is a heavier weight for maybe like your neoprenes or sweatshirt fleece. Here are some examples of non-stretch fabric. Here I have a wool, a bottom weight cotton, a quilting cotton, cashmere, and rayon. And for these types of fabrics, you're going to want to use a universal needle. And a universal needle you'll know by this red color at the top of the needle. Universal needles are available in a wide range of sizes, and you'll use this, the smaller sizes for the lighter weight fabrics and the larger sizes for the more heavy weight fabrics. They're also available in single size or multi-pack. For fabrics like chambray, denim, and canvas, you can use denim needles. They're also available in single size or multi-pack, and they're indicated by this bright blue color at the top of the needle. For sewing leather and vinyl, you'll want to use a leather needle. Leather needles have a specially designed tip so that they pierce through the leather or vinyl without leaving large holes. To change a needle, first turn off the power to the machine. 
and turn the hand wheel toward you to make sure that the needle is raised to its highest position. Raise the presser foot lifter and press the presser foot release lever at the back to release the presser foot. It's a good idea to place a small piece of paper over the needle plate so that you don't accidentally drop the needle down into the machine when, when you're changing it. Use the small screwdriver from your machine's accessories. Hold the needle with your left hand and place the screwdriver into the needle clamp screw. Turn the screw toward you to loosen the needle and take the old needle and discard it. Take your new needle with the flat side toward the back and place it up into the needle clamp, making sure it's up as far as it will go. And use your machine's screwdriver to tighten the needle clamp screw securely. Remove the paper, reattach the presser foot, and turn on the power to the machine to thread the machine and resume sewing. It's recommended that you change your needle every six to eight hours of sewing time. Now that we've talked about needles, let's talk about accessories. This is your machine's removable storage compartment and this front part of it tilts forward and this is where you can actually store the accessories that come with your machine. Keep some handy and right at your fingertips. The removable storage compartment can slide off the end of the machine and it gives you access to a free arm. And the free arm is a smaller area that makes it easier when you want to sew pants, hems, sleeve cuffs, maybe even around the top of a tote bag because it's just a smaller, more circular area. For larger projects, you may be interested in this larger extension table. It's available on the Singer website. It slides onto the end of the free arm like this. You can just give it a little push to pop it on. And what that does is it gives you a larger surface that's nice and level for larger projects like quilts, home decor projects, larger garments, and so on. So for more information about optional accessories like the large extension table or other presser feet, visit the Singer website.